so I um, we just did the full sun salutation and I figured I would do a modified version of the sun salutation as well so you can choose between the full um, version or the modified version depending on your flexibility and of course you can you can switch up the um, versions even in the midst of the entire sun salutation so I'm going to do a, a totally modified version um, for someone who maybe has a little bit less flexibility. Um, so let's start. Give me a nice, strong mountain pose at the top of your mat. Pull that low belly in and up. Lift the kneecaps, spread through your toes, and press the ground away from you. Really engaging. And then you're rooted through the low body, and then you're nice and lifted through the spine. So you've got lots of availability for mobility here. Take a nice deep inhale. Turn the palms towards the front of the room. And exhale. Let's inhale those arms up to the sky. Look up to the sky. Exhale and forward fold. If you've got less mobility here, bend the knees deep, deep, deep. You can even play with trying to straighten one leg, pedaling out your legs, and let the head hang. Let's inhale up to a flat back. Exhale and step the right foot back into a lunge. And we're going to do the low lunge since this is the modified version. You might need to squiggle that left foot out a little bit so we'll sink our hips down towards the front edge of the mat. Then you've got the ankle right underneath of the left knee. Spider tip fingers even here and drop the right foot down onto the mat. Now even this, I've got a lot of flexibility, so it's difficult for me to do the modified versions without um, still having a lot of flexibility. So you might have a little bit more of an angle here. Maybe you've got that nice straight line from the knees. That's okay, either way, doesn't really matter. We're gonna inhale, exhale. Tuck the toes under on the right side. Lift the knee off of the ground. We're going to plant the hands and kick it back into a plank. Now, if you've got the modified version going, we're going to do a low plank here. So your knees are on the ground, the tops of your feet are on the ground, but let me tell you what, you are still working so hard in that core area. Pull the, spot, the belly in and up to support the spine. So no dumping here. We're nice and lifted, engaged. Pressing the shoulders down and away, away from the, the core, inhale. We're gonna chaturanga, so exhale and lower. Lower all the way down to the ground, scraping those elbows towards the body. Then inhale, press the feet into the ground and lift up into a cobra. So you've got minimal weight in the hands. You're just kind of lifting through a back extension the knees will lift off of the ground, your hips are pressing into the ground, and the feet are pressing into the ground. Nice, tall, lengthened spine so you're not crunching up in the neck. Inhale. We're going to exhale and press it. Move through those knees, and we're going to press it up to our downward dog. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips. Shift everything around and find your perfect downward dog. Maybe even a lot of bend in the knees. That's okay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale the right leg. You can either lift the leg or you can just step it forward. Wiggle it up. You might need to squiggle it. You might need to physically grab it and bring it to the front of the mat. Drop the left knee down. And then let's go ahead and sink those hips down towards the front edge of the mat. So a low lunge again on this left side, on this right side. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. 
Go ahead and tuck those toes under on the left side. And we're going to we're going to step the feet together. So step the left foot to meet the right foot and forward fold, hang heavy at the top. We're going to inhale, lift the spine, sweep the arms overhead, and shift and hinge yourself on up to mountain pose. Look up to the sky, reach up to the sky, exhale those arms back down, ending exactly where we started. Take a nice deep cleansing breath. So we did the right leg, we're going to move to the left leg, inhale, reach up to the sky, Look up to the sky, pull the belly in, exhale, we're going to forward fold. Move as slowly as you like, as mindfully as you can, making sure to move so mindfully that if you catch anything hurting or anything catching that you can stop and back out of it right before you hurt anything. We never want to hurt anything in yoga. Yoga is about healing. Inhale, lift the spine. Exhale, step that left foot back into a lunge. Drop the left knee if you need to. Drop the left top of the foot. And I like to wiggle the front foot forward so that when I do shift the hips down, I've got that perfect protected ankle right underneath, underneath the knee. And then spider tip fingers, your core is still working here. And take a second. Yoga, um, even in the yoga sutras, a uh, yoga pose, a yoga asana is one that feels comfortable and stable. So if you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel stable, then you're not going to be able to maintain the pose. You're not going to get the most benefit from it. So um, make sure that you're working with that in mind. Take a nice deep inhale. If you want, you can plant the hands here and just kick that right foot back into a low plank. You don't even need to pop that left knee up. You can just stay left knee down if you need to. Engaging through the fingers, pressing the ground away from you, lifting up on the center of your palm like a suction cup. So you're engaging even the hands here. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, lower the whole body down to the ground, chaturanga. We're going to inhale, cobra. Glutes are working, your back is working, your belly's still pulling in and up, your feet are pressing into the ground. And even, I tend to look up forward, but look right at the top of your mat. So you've got a nice open back of the neck. Take an inhale. We're going to pop up into our downward dog. So move, you almost got a push up here. Push on up, move through the knees, Tuck the toes under and lift the hips up into your downward dog. Whatever that looks like to you, whether you've got bent knees or you can give me a nice straight knee, it doesn't really matter. Take a nice deep inhale and an exhale. Yoga is for every single type of body. I'm a believer in that wholeheartedly. Let's go ahead and step that left foot forward. You can lift the leg if you want or just step it on forward. You might need to wiggle it down, wiggle it up, and then drop the right knee, drop the right top of the foot, and give me those spider tip fingers, shift the hips forward, and you want to feel a stretch through that hip flexor. That way, eventually, we'll be able to work towards a full lunge. Eventually, we'll be able to work towards having our hips shift down towards the front edge of the mat, opening up through the inner thighs, through where the inner thighs connect to the pelvis. A nice deep inhale and an exhale. We're going to tuck those right toes under and step it forward into our last forward fold. Exhale. I even like to get a last inhale and exhale here. So inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Here we go, hinging on up, inhale, lift the spine, sweep those arms overhead, hinge yourself up, it's a total core movement, you're working your legs, reach up to the sky, exhale, bring those arms down by your side, 
and ending right in that nice, tall, strong mountain pose. Spread the toes, lift the core in and up, soften your gaze. Take a nice deep breath. There you go. Modified sun salutation. We're saluting the sun, saying thank you to our body and thank you to this earth. So I hope you enjoyed it and keep doing those sun salutations. Mm.